Hi, welcome to Arch Labs. We are looking at Arch Labs and let's have a look what version it is. So we're building towards version 4.0 and in the meantime I'm gonna make a tutorial about the hidden gems. And one of the hidden gems is what I call a hidden gem is these key bindings. It just it pays off to really take a look. There are lots of uh, uh, key bindings as you see or keyboard shortcuts and the best way to explain you is via this little button here where you get this window and we can go over them all right first off um, I'm not going through all of these 103 but there are there's a, a logic in the madness so for instance we have this control shift backspace which is open box restart um, I must point out that it's maybe better to do just this here. Preferences, open box, and rather not, uh, not to use restart and use reconfigure. Because when you restart, you'll see that the conkey is going to blur. And if that happens, then remember that you can go to conkey, reload conkeys, and that's fixed. So that's the first one. And then the, the hidden gem that we have and that other distros do not have is this um, tiling system we have our keyboard our right mouse click numeric keyboard that's what this is a super key and keyboard pad of keypad and then we take the windows one this is super one as you can see you can follow what i'm pressing and let's go around the clock And five is maximizing. So those were all these kind of things. So I'm skipping some of them. Um, Alt tap is this one, and let's go for super tap as well immediately, like so. We can go and choose what we want to see. Um, what else? These are all related to hardware buttons that you have on your keyboard or not. We can print, print screens, uh, all print screens and alt print and control print will work. Alt F2 and Alt F3 will work. Alt F3, F2 is um, this little program, you have to know the name. If you do Alt F3, sorry, Alt F3, you do not need to know the name, but you just type along and you'll see that this has um, a search functionality. So you just type in something and it will pop up anything with fir in this time. So escape and you're out again. The same menu is also activated with Windows Shift D. Why two menus? Because we know out of experience when people start installing stuff, the Alt F3 is most likely to be replaced with the XFC shortcut. So now we have this window shift D has a backup and which is actually my primary use. So that's that. It's an extra menu we have. So we have the window space, which is our menu or the right mouse click on the desktop. We have our Alt F2. We know the program and we have the window shift D and we type the program. We look for the program. All right, what else do we have? All keys with Windows, starting with Windows. You just check them out. When we press Windows F, we have Tunar that's opening up. And so on, Windows T, Stermite. And you can experiment yourself. Windows space, like I said, is quite important to get to the program, which is this one here. Sorry, uh, this one here. This one is also quite interesting. So Xkill is um, a program that is Windows Escape. And if something is not behaving properly, just click over it and then it's killed. Like you see, if you press on desktop, nothing happens. But if you press it on this one here, then it's gone. Okay, that's also quite interesting. We have this Windows keypad thing, which is nice. But there are also windows arrow to the left, or windows to the right, to the right, to the right, windows up, and windows down. 
So these things I use to tile my windows all over the place. So we were just uh, explaining you these guys. Okay, what else? That's some these things I do use a lot of the time. This wallpaper is coming from Variety, maybe a little bit Variety commercial here. Um, this is a little program. Let's go for the wallpaper selector, see what it has downloaded that I like. Maybe this is a nice one to continue. And that's it. I never downloaded this uh, uh, app wallpaper. It's, I never chosen this wallpaper. It just came with Variety, which is up here. And it's getting all these wallpapers from desktopper.co. I only have to choose them, click on them, and that's it. All right. So this, these shortcuts do different kind of things. The T stands for trashing. When I press Alt T, I don't like this wallpaper. It's going to be trashed. I do like it. Alt F is going to favorize, so favorite. So it's going to back up it, uh, make a backup to Dropbox, and it's going to be synced in my case, and variety minus P, previous, so old P, old left, and next from the end from next, up is resume, and if I like the wallpaper for to keep for today, I press alt arrow up. So some of them I can just show you. So the next wallpaper coming up, old T is going to be trashed, I don't like that one, don't like that one either, that's a nice one. I'm gonna trash this one and that's how fast it goes it goes over any of the wallpapers and then we trash it or we put it in favorites or we just go to the next one if we don't like it trash it again okay Ooh, let's not end with this one alt t again okay fine what else we have windows pause which is up here which is going to give our options to quit and that's fine and windows return also gives us termite a little bit like i3 if you're an i3 user you'll be very happy to know that windows enter works and windows shift enter works as well to open our um, file manager a lot of programs have been added in f1 so Windows F1 is going to open Firefox and so on. I like to let you experiment with that. But of course, if you do not have the program installed, like Spotify is not installed in the ISO, nor is Evolution, I think, nor is VirtualBox, all the rest is installed. And then we have the last batch here. So the Control Shift Escape, we know the uh, the, the shortcut, shortcut combination from another operating system okay so that works and these are all with control a so control a and then we go over programs control a m is going to go to the settings because some of the settings are coming from xfce other settings are coming from open box so we have uh, two we can go to the key menu with ob key so these are the little gems that are hidden. If you don't go over them, you'll never know, never use them. I start always Spotify with Ctrl Alt S and so on. So those were the, uh, this is the overview of all the shortcuts. If talking about shortcuts, I should end with one last thing. And there's of course here the key bindings. There's also graphic key bindings program that you can go into, but I rather tell you not to do that uh, you can of course no problem but it's it pays off to go to this one rcxml and this in this file which is now on the other screen let's move it here here you will find all of the things and all you have to do is copy paste one of those and uh, make a new uh, name execute a new program and learn a little bit of coding and that's it copy paste and work your way down the list 
Enjoy using Arch Labs. Um, uh, probably in next versions we'll have other key bindings, so there may be some differences, but enjoy them.